Right now in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a shutdown timer. Right, let's start off with, you have to make a new project. And rename it shutdown timer. Oh damn, missed off the air. And wait for it to load. It's going to take a while because I'm on my laptop. Then you should get the default form. Which size it's like a bit more reasonable. Then change the title to shutdown timer. Then you're going to need to create four labels. If I can find labels, there is. Change the font to something a bit more visible, like Trebuchet MS, and change to 16. Now you've got your label 1, we're going to rename this time with a colon, and then we're going to copy it, which is control C, and place it adjacent to it. You don't have to fill anything in for that one because timer one's going to be time of day, so it's just going to overwrite wherever it is. Then rename the one beneath the original time, alarm. I'm just going to rename that time so you don't get confused. And that one, you just leave it blank, so it's still there, but you don't see it when you haven't set the alarm yet. Resize it a little bit. Right now you're going to need to add a timer. Not text box. Come on. Let's do just text box first. Go to your text box and your button. Rename your button set so you can set the alarm to whatever you want it to. Now we'll add your timer. Make sure you enable it, otherwise, it's obviously not going to work. Double click on the timer. Come on, laptop. There we go. To bring up the code for it, which would be timer1.tick. Oh, underscore tick, but yeah, you know what you mean. Then you do label two dot text equals time of day. We'll come Write some more code later, but it's not used right now. Alright, let's just write it anyway. Save some time. If label four dot text equals label two dot text, then shell and the brackets. Then obviously that's your command line code so it'd be shut down minus s to close down the computer which is obviously needed for a shutdown program so now go back to your design and we're going to need to set the button to what it's going to do so double click on it and it'll be button one dot click and then do label what is it label four dot text equals text box one dot text. Pretty simple. Oh, very simple. Right, and now we're gonna debug it and run it. Do 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 
Do. And there you are. Obviously you can go through the configuration and get rid of the milliseconds at the end if you wanted to, but this is only a very basic and quick shutdown timer. I'm going to speed it up, do it to 35. And then you see it will set it to the alarm there. And as soon as it becomes, Windows will shut down in less than a minute. But I'm a bit clever, so just do shut down minus A. And, oh look, Windows is cancelled. Oh, not Windows, log off, sorry. Damn it, messed that one up. Anyway, close it down, and you have made a very simple shutdown timer. Visit my other tutorials and subscribe. Thanks.